2. Yeah, All right. right. <laughs> Remember this too. The original 21 Jump Street series <coughs> sparked the career of none other than Johnny Depp. Well, Depp's apparently too old to pass as a teenage student these days, but they do get away with it in Hollywood a fair bit. Apparently, though, Channam Tatum, Tatum is young enough. 22 Jump Street is the sequel to the successful movie revamp. It puts a pair of incompetent cops in the shoes of college students trying to bust an illegal drug ring. It's definitely blown box office expectations. As opposed to a legal things. drug ring, our yeah. movie man Jason Jabba Davis went undercover <laughs> as a, a teenager center. to see this film and joins us from LA. Jabba, 21 Jump Street, any good? Good morning, guys. Uh, certainly the funniest film I've seen in the last 12 months. Uh, lucky enough to catch it in a full house screening in New York last week, and I have never heard an audience <laughs> laugh, clap and cheer so much as they did during this film. <laughs> You know, the, tw the, the 21 Jump Street worked because it, it sort of sent up, you know, it parodied the buddy cop thing. Um, and quite often sequels forget why their, you know, their, their predecessors were successful. Does this maintain the same level of, you know, humour? Oh, even more so, Andrew, even more humour. I mean, they have found a way to milk a gag out of every possible situation, including that, that little grab there where we talked about, uh, where we had a look at uh, a couple fighting and then breaking into kissing together. Um, I mean, this, this is the fifth biggest live-action comedy debut of all time, and it's joined some of the biggest uh, comedy sequel blockbusters. And that's, I think, wow. what has surprised wow. people about this film. Wow. It's not just a comedy, it's also a blockbuster. So with the huge opening weekend here in the States of $60 million just over the weekend, last weekend, beating How to Train Your Dragon 2. All eyes are on this film to see how big it can go in the box office globally. Let's take a look at 22 Jump Street. Yangs, man. What's going on, man? Jenny Yang. What's up? Hey. Keith Yang. Oh, you're twins. Yeah. We're brothers, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not, he's not kidding. He's serious. Oh, really? Is you one, get, like, one of y'all older? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got crow's feet under your eyes, man. Like you specific. We're actually just normal college age. I mean, well, even if you're a little older, that's cool, man. Because, you know, girls here love older dudes. That's true. Plus, it's math girls are here, man. I don't know, at the end of the day, you just kind of want something that's just a little deeper, really. Yeah, yeah deeper. deeper. Jeans, buy me a coat. Oh, snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. Carrots, pumpernickel, glow stick, twins. Those do so sick. That's crazy. We have that brother connection, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Pirates, clips, bananas, feet, I don't know, anger, words, words shoes, <laughs> boo! <laughs> 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 I'm just back there in the cinema. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go and watch this film as soon as this segment is over. I'm going to go see it again uh, ahead of seeing Eric Banner's new film, which is uh, a real spooky film we'll talk about in the next couple of weeks. Oh, okay. This film breaks every kind of taboo. Uh, it's got every joke from every co uh, cop buddy film. And what Chris Lord and uh, Chris Miller and Phil Lord, the guys behind the Lego movie and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, have managed to do um, is, is to pay tribute to every cop buddy film that's come before it. They're focused on the relationship between Jonah Hill um, and Channing Tatum. And one of the funniest things is the end credits where they take the piss out of where, how many more sequels we're going to see of this franchise going as far as 2121 Jump Street <laughs> in space in the future. Not since Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger have two twins look so similar. Dad. What do you give it? Five stars. If you need Five a laugh, go see stars. this film. Enjoy it. Go see it on the big screen. Uh, absolutely, absolutely brilliant film. Really, Jebba, really loved it. Uh, I hate Can't to sound like I'm wrapping mothballs, but what's the rating on the film? Uh, MA15 in Australia is yeah. R-rated in the States. Oh, really? It's, really? You know, there's no, nothing too dirty. It's, you know, it's going to be big for uh, if you're in the last couple of years of high school and up. Or, or Quinn. Right. He's 13, my son. He'll be watching this for sure. sure. Cheers. Great. Right, thank <laughs> you. Looks so like a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. That's good. <laughs> See you then. Uh, next week, we'll talk about Transformers. Okie dokie. Speak to you then, uh, Mark Wahlberg. See you guys. Have a great Sunday. You too. Mark Wahlberg's interview with JT, of course, coming up tomorrow. Yes, you Transformers. Do. Yeah. More of Weekend Sunrise right after the break. No.